Hey there everyone, it's me, Team Rara, and I'm back with the second video. Anyway, have you got the opportunity, sorry, to watch the very first video of the day if not smash that bell, you will get a notification from YouTube. Okay? And don't worry, I'll discuss my social media accounts after this part of the video is over. Now, once again, sit back, relax, put your feet up, crap some meat or craft some drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject, and of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below this one, there will be a link. Now, I don't know if anyone is aware by now, but it seemed like the WWE WrestleMania Access will have a different name for the upcoming WrestleMania, okay? I attended, the only time I attended WrestleMania Fan Access. It's awesome. It's huge. It, it seems like it's getting bigger and bigger. Okay? Now, if you've never attended WrestleMania or never attended Fan Access, check it out. Okay? Now, they they're going to change their name. Okay? I don't know why, but I guess because it's under Triple H's era. Okay? For years, fans who travel to WrestleMania have also in attended WrestleMania Access, or I call it Fan Access, it's the same thing. They experienced experience during the, the mayhem of weekend, PW Insider, according to PW Insider, WrestleMania Access is reporting undergrown a name change. Do you like that or no? Do you think they should just keep it original? Of course, uh, WrestleMania Fan Access is not the original name. They had a different name back in the day. I think they used to call it um, Fan Access before they called it WrestleMania Access. They went through different changes. So, but it's just back then. If you watch on WWE Network or Peacock, they have old footage of the Access. It was very like, small, small arena. Now it's like flipping huge. Then you have to use like a um, convener, convention center. Okay, and it's so awesome, you know, it's getting bigger and bigger. Okay, so all the information down below. Okay, now they still know where the Hall of Fame will take place. Of course, it'd be in LA. I don't know if it's gonna be home of the Lakers, I know it's a different name, or it could be home in Sydney, 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 I mean, the home of the. San Diego Sharks they could use that one. I don't know. Maybe be too out of the way. You know what? San, San Jose Sharks. There you go. In San Jose. It might be out of the way of Los Angeles. It all depends, you know? You want everything close. You don't want to go to this place and then you got to go get a cab or, sorry, an Uber or I don't know, you know? They won't make it. I think they should make everything close. Like they did in New Orleans. You know, like everything's walking distance. And I don't think that they could do it in LA. I don't know. They're gonna, hopefully they could try the best. Once I find the information about where's um, the Hall of Fame will take place, I will definitely will make a video on it. It might take a couple days when I make the video, but I will definitely will make a video on it. So let me know if you're upset with the change, name change, or does it really bother you? So if you can't just go on Mania, I mean, if you don't want to spend the money on Mania, and if you just want to go to like fan access, excuse me, or however they're going to change your name, go to that, go to NXT, go to Raw, SmackDown. But, you know, if you want to do it all, that's up to you, you know. It, but it costs money. I guarantee you probably you've been saving money since last year or probably you're doing already. But maybe you buy these tickets for your kids or grandkids or whatever. But it's expensive, you know. You know, everything goes up in prices, but, you know, people complain all they want, but people still want to take vacation, right? So, you know, you got to buy merchandise, you got to buy food there at these events, and there's no way you could find cheaper food there because everything's very expensive, you know? It don't matter where you go on vacation, is expensive, you know? You could try to get the good deals, but the sporting events, the wrestling events, that's how they get you, you know, the big mega events. And we all know that WrestleMania is awesome, but you're going to have a big 
um, money to spend. And like on airline tickets, you might get a good deal on that. Um, hotel, you might get a good deal on that if you book that way in advance. Some people like to do it at the last minute, but to each their own. And merchandise, you can never get a good sale on that because it's all like all fresh stuff, you know. I think it's exclusive, and they're um, super super show, super store. I'm sorry. Until eventually you'll be on W um, shop, and then they have, have might have a thirty percent clearance or however they that works. So let me know what's your thoughts on this. Does it bother you? Does it really bother you? I just want to hear your opinion now. I'm gonna switch gears. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, um, my own Facebook page. If you really want to be a part of the Rahul Show, double click on DM me and that wraps up. If I miss my one of my social media accounts, it will be down there regardless. Have a good one and I'll see you guys tomorrow and enjoy your rest of your Sunday. Take care and peace out and stay safe.